guys, welcome to a tutorial where I'm going to show you how I shade my skin. Okay, uh, shade my skin? Uh, shade skin, or how I shade skin, I guess. Sounds kind of bizarre. But, um, here I've got some things lined up to shade. You're probably wondering, what's this? This is actually a horn. Uh, I'll go into more details on that later. I mean, it's not skin, but... It could be kind of handy if you want to draw a demon or something someday. But, um, it's just, just going to be a quick little tutorial. And we have this torso here. Um, how I used to shade when, uh, a while ago. Or always remember to turn on preserve opacity, unless you're okay with erasing everything out of the lines later. But I just used to say like this, and it's like, oh wow, it's shaded. Uh, it looks good, but, I mean, in some styles, this can work, so, like, cell shading, or I used to just, like, blur one side and be like, hey, that's actually not that bad, and it's, it's not, but it looks kind of messy, and that's not really what we want. We want to be pro artists like Sakimi or, um, Kawasi. Yes, those guys are too pro for their own good, but, um, they use a process where they... They have a gradient brush. I mainly use airbrush with low density for gradients, but um, try to just shade around all the edges, open edges, so something like this. And already you can see it's it has a nice shape. Um, I think I turned the density on too high, but you can always blur away at these to make it look a bit neater. And Maybe like this, just to like, uh, you don't actually have to shade the tops, but um, places where it kind of creases and more shadows can be formed, you can add more color there. But um, another thing, say we have this, what is, what is this called, belly button area, I guess, and you want to shade something like this, so you're like, okay, I guess I'll just shade like this. And you're like, oh no, that doesn't look that great. But, um, what I do for this, I recently learned this because I was bad before, but, um, you color pick this, you find a hard-edged brush, or something with a hard-ish edge. Color pick something lighter, but, um, have something like this, you just draw a line. It doesn't have to be perfect, like, rough can work too, so that's around okay, and you basically just blur off this side, or try to try to leave some of the original breaststroke there, and you're like, whoa, why'd we do that? Uh, that I Already it's looking a bit better, but um, if you want to erase it, it's got this like nice crease there. Uh, let me just shade away at it a bit more. And this is what I mainly use when I want to shade muscles or... Uh, obviously I haven't defined the belly button, but that's like the main idea of this. This is what you can use when it comes down to shading um, muscles or like certain things that you don't want to define with a really strong black line because uh, that doesn't look that great ultimately. But um, yeah, this also works with tasteful cleavage. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not perverted, this is just an example, okay? But, um, you have something like this. You can just do the basic shading around here. It's not perfect, but it, it works. Um, you can color pick a lighter version here, and just draw a line around here. And depending on where the light source is, you can shade away. I, I think here might be better, actually. But, um... And you erase this, and you've got like this line here, and you're like, whoa, that's pretty good. I don't know. <laughs> it's just something that I wish I knew a long time ago, but um, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, also, blurring away, this can be handy if you want to shade things like lips. I would have used a harder brush here, just sort of like colored away at it, and then blurred away the certain bits, and leave leave a hard edge here, so I'm pointing at it with my hands, but you guys can't see that. So I leave this part here, so I'll like outline that, but I'll leave that part here, while this part just fades away into the skin. Um, 
obviously this way of shading it's not for every art style this is just an art style artist like Kawasi and Sakimi uses sometimes I mean it's like you won't become them once you use this style but if you keep practicing you can someday it's my motivational words for today but um also use it for things so say the light source is coming from here actually in this piece it would be coming from here but um it's coming from here don't be afraid to shade the edges of things that you think might be highlighted because oh man this is rough but um so you have something like that and it's shaded in you can always go in with um uh you can always go in with a luminosity layer or a highlight or a lighter color and just color in around it to define the outline and the shade of there. I mean it looks kind of sucky here but I, I tried okay and and what we've got here is um, a horn it kind of looks like a elongated purple turd but I tried I'm not that great at drawing stuff like this but um so you have something like this if you want to color pick things to shade don't just move this darker so it's like, ah, oh, hey, it's darker now. I can shade with that. I mean, you can do that, but try also moving this too so you can have something on the, oh, it's not that obvious, but you have something on the reddish spectrum or the more purplish spectrum. Uh, if you shade with different things, you can see different looks to it. So say I have something like this and I want to shade with dark red, I'd have something like that. And Notice that this looks slightly different from something shaded with purple. If you didn't see that, go back and rewind or something. Uh, but um, So shading something like a horn, it, it might not come in handy. I'll use purple for this one. But it might not come in handy in most cases, but it's basically grasping the same idea of this. So you just shade around it to give it a three-dimensional look. Obviously, you would go back and render all these so you have something that looks more more definite because this is rather light, but it's just the creases that are important. Um, so you have something like this, sort of. Obviously better done, but this works for now. And then you go in and you draw the lines here. Oh, that might be a bit too dark. Let's try this. Two, three. Um, I didn't really groove this up, so I'm not sure how that looks, but oh, oh my. Okay, I'll respond to that after. But um oh wait, let me redraw these lines. They aren't that perfect. Most of you would have probably clicked out by now, but um you have something like this. And then you would use the blur tool and shade away one edge of it. Let's see if that's the right thing. Yeah, that, that looks okay. I mean, it looks really stupid, but but um, if you keep going at it and using layer settings, then it'll be fine. So say you have two edges here. You have, I'll, I'll outline them. You have this edge and this edge. Try to keep one edge preserved while you shade away the other edge. So I'll be shading away this one. It's got a nice tinge of blue now, but um, then we've got this edge shaded away. Oh, it, it looks more choppy actually, but um, then we can shade this bit here. And if you go in with, say, darker colors and sort of fix up whatever this abomination is that you have created. And you sort of go in and, like, add more colors, maybe maybe add some luminosity. Oh, I'm actually shading with a black, which isn't the best idea, but maybe it's something like this. And go in and add darker shades and continue to render it, you can get a more definite look. And yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty interesting. Uh, you can also add textures too, but 
for things like skin, if you do have a skin texture, you can use it, but, um, I mean, this already looks sort of soft, but things like this. Oh, I have fuzzy static on my, okay, that's probably why. I was like, what's this weird texture showing up? Oh, okay, I'll, I'll respond to that later. But, um, then you have luminosity on, and then you can go on and add more highlights. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, streamer mode, where are you? It's fine. Well, yeah, there's, uh, there's the video.